Hey guys, what is up? It is Dakota here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a breakdown of the new town trailer for Black Ops 3. So I'm going to let it play at normal speed, and then I'll be back with a breakdown. See you then. Snap. Wow, was that amazing. So, I'm back. Yeah, time to get back into this breakdown. So, a couple things I want to say off on the start here. Black Ops 3, um, we have this Nuketown sort of feel again. Because, of course, it is Nuketown. Uh, we got all this early footage from Black Ops and Black Ops 2. They went and they showed back Nuketown, show you what it was like in the past. And the first thing I want to talk about here is coming right up here, so I'll just pause the video real quick right here. So basically what we have here is Nuketown. It's back, of course. I mean, like they always said it was going to be. Um, some things I want to notice are new buildings, new everything, of course, because it's more futuristic. Um, in the back towards the B flag, we have a new wall running spot. Uh, in the bottom left, you can see a robot. Or, um, these are replacing mannequins. Um, the middle we have a bus and another bus. They appear to be two buses, and we have these things coming off of them going into the sky. I'm not too sure what those are, but let's get right back into it. Okay, so we have the things that are going into the sky, like I said. Here's the Nuketown sign, population 12, for how many get players are in the game. That changes accordingly. Here we have three players at what appears to be back of Yellow House, running over to go cap the B flag. Here we have people jumping into Greenhouse. As you can see, there's no thing you can stand on there, so I don't know if that's completely removed, but it looks like it. Here's the next thing I want to talk about right there. Did you see it? What we have here is that the robot's head is being shot off. Now, I don't know about you, but in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, if you shot off all the mannequins' heads within a certain amount of time of the match starting, an Easter egg song played. I, I'm pretty sure Treyarch is hinting at this right here. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be trying it as soon as I get to play Nuketown. Okay, so continuing on with the trailer, here we have someone sliding around the bus, getting a headshot, someone else got sniped, trip mine, blowing the car up, the back you have an HCXD, Reaper just got wrecked, uh... We get a first look at character customization, sort of. You can see people are different. Someone got sparrowed. Someone got sniped in between the bus, so I know that's possible. Or the truck, sorry. Uh, someone got combat axed. Here we have another look at customized customized character. Now we have a dart shooting someone. There's a new wall running spot that we haven't seen before. And here we have another guy thrust sliding out of the way of the last dart. Guy running into the garage on the greenhouse getting... Knifed, and I thought this was really funny. I like how they added that. Two people go into the back of Greenhouse, or I'm sorry, Yellow House, get shot, and only one comes out. Here we have a VTOL of what appears to be a VTOL shooting down on B-Dom. We have a Cerberus roaming around, and here's another thing I would like to talk about. So here's that new wall run that I was talking about um, behind B. And also, I don't know if you caught it, but in the bottom right, it said ICR. I don't know about you. That uh, sounds a lot like ACR, and I love the ACR, but Treyarch hasn't had an ACR in their game, so what do we know? There we had the Tempest, 
running up and killing a bunch of things. And here we have the Purifier on B-Dom, just absolutely going in and wrecking everything. And the final nuke animation, which every nuke town would not be complete without. And we have the outro for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like the video, comment down below, comment down below and subscribe for more information on Black Ops 3. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.